everybody. Sienna, did you want to say something to start? Yeah, what do you want to say, Paul? Let me see if I can unmute you. And, uh, I'm writing a book, and um, what I'm writing about is squishies, and squishies can help you calm down while you're meditating. That is a great thing. Do you mean in the way that you like squish them, that that can kind of relax you and focus you? My big chair is a squishy. Oh, nice. I like it. I like it. Absolutely. That's a great example of there are things all around our house that we can use our own little special things to calm down, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely true. Okay, Puds. So good morning. And I am Jasmine for Libby. We haven't met. And nice to see all of your faces on this Friday morning. Um, so today we are going to be talking about being kindness detectives. Does everybody know what a detective is? Does anybody want to say what a detective is? Here, I'm going to give it to Jave. Okay, Jave, I think I got you. Go ahead. Um, detectives are people who, um, whenever someone lost or did a crime, they try to figure it out who it was. Absolutely. That is great. Does anybody want to add anything? You, Theo, do you want to add something? Go ahead, Bubba. I got you, I think. No, you got to unmute yourself. Um, they look for clues and other things, like... Uh Absolutely, they look for clues. Sienna, go ahead. I think I can get you. Go ahead, Bob. Um, the, when I watched a movie about them, about detectives, and um, there's like they have like tools that that like they can do all the stuff with the tools because the tools help them. <laughs> Absolutely true. So you are all right. You all said the best things. Yeah, detectives look for clues. They help solve mysteries. Um, they help find people. Absolutely. And so now, today, you are all going to learn how to be kindness detectives. I know him. So you are going to be looking for ways that you can be kind, and you're also going to be looking for ways that other people are kind. So let's start out. Looks like everybody's in it, whether you're on your squishy or whatever you've got. Let's get into our mindful bodies, right? So we're sitting on the floor, crisscross applesauce with our legs, putting our hands resting on the top of our legs. I'll let you see me for a sec. So right, we've got our hands like this, open and ready to learn and focus on being kindness detectives. Okay, let's all take one deep breath in. And let it out. And another one in. And let it out. And one last big, big, big one in. And let it out. And so who is somebody, does anybody want to say, this is someone who is always with you? Let me finish the question, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> this is someone who is always with you. Every single second of every day, this person is with you, and you need to be very kind to them. Who do you think it is, Theo? What? Swoops. Swoops. That is a great, absolutely. Swoops is one of the things. Where does Swoops, Jade, you want to say something? A little more? In front of your head. Swoops is in the front of your head, yeah. And so Swoops in lives inside you, right? So you are the person that you spend all of your time with. And so you have to make sure to be really kind to yourself too. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna stretch our arms out to the side as far as they can go. See if you can reach Theo, I'll get you in a second. First, let's stretch. And then we're gonna wrap our arms around ourselves and give ourselves a Big, kind hug. Squish, 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 squish. And then we're gonna reach our arms out again the other way. Stretch, 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 stretch. Feel that great stretch. And now wrap the other arm on top and give yourself another big, huge hug. Oh, 
I love it. Starting off the day, giving yourself some love. Go ahead, Theo. I'm in the, I'm in San Francisco. I see you're in San Francisco. I used to live in San Francisco. I love the Golden Gate Bridge. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Sienna, go ahead. And actually, it's okay because we have a small group of us today. So if you want to chime in a little bit extra, that's fine. What do you want to say, Sienna? Um, could we like, if, could we like stretch our whole body this time? Yep, we are going to get up. We're going to do a lot of yogi says today. So we're going to be up all the <laughs> You love stretching your body, Sienna? Does it feel yes, great? Yes, I, uh, I have been sitting in a chair this whole entire morning. Oh, doing great. homework. Doing homework. All right, great to know. I appreciate the input. We will definitely get up and move around a lot, okay? So let's just do a couple flower breaths here before we get up and move around. Does anybody remember how to do the flower breath? Sienna, go ahead. You want to show us? Like, like a blooming flower. We can do it like a blooming flower. That's fine too. I was like, like, like the real one. We can do any. Oh. We talked about it the other day that you all can make up your own breaths. If you want to make up, if Theo wants to blooming make blooming flower. If Theo wants to make up a Golden Gate Bridge breath, he could do it, right? We could all make up whatever you want. Whatever is going to get you into your body and taking a couple focused breaths. So we can do the flower breath, absolutely. How about if we do it? So we're going to breathe in, and when we do, we'll bring our arms up to bloom, and then we'll breathe out on our way down, okay? We'll do three all together. So let's breathe in. And breathe out. And another one. Breathe in. And breathe out. And last big blooming flower. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, so now we are going to get up and as Sienna requested, move our body some, right? Okay, so raise your hand. Who knows how to play Simon Says? Everybody know how to play Simon Says? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so we are gonna play, we're gonna play Jasmine Says because I'm Jasmine. So if I say to do it, then we're all gonna do it, right? And if I don't say it, then we're not. But if we mess up, that's okay. We're just gonna keep going, nobody's out. So the first thing we're gonna do is can you put down? Tell JB's on he's on pause. Oh, Jabe, we got you frozen. Can you unfreeze yourself, Bo? Okay, if you figure out how to unfreeze yourself, maybe get somebody to help you put. Okay, so the first thing, Jasmine says do tree pose. So hands over your head and a little bit of balancing with your feet, right? So let's stay there for a second. Jasmine says, do tree pose. Now Jasmine says, do frog hops. Frog hops. Jasmine says, turn around in a circle. Turn around the other way. I didn't say Jasmine says. <laughs> Okay, Jasmine says do warrior. And if you forgot, that means your arm out to the side, your other arm, and your feet facing one way, right? So Jasmine says do warrior. Jasmine says lean a little bit into the front of your warrior. Jasmine says put your hands on your head. Now put your hands down. Excellent, nobody did it. Okay, Jasmine says, hop on one foot. Now hop on the other foot. Excellent, everybody didn't do it. Okay, Jasmine says you can come with both feet on the ground again. Jasmine says, pat your head with both hands. Jasmine says, Reach for the stars. Reach as high up as you can go. This is great for the stretch, Sienna. So Jasmine says stretch both ways with your body as though you could literally reach the stars, right? 
Jasmine says, tap the place where swoops, where you call swoops. Where do you call swoops? Perfect. So we can all call for swoops. Jasmine says, do elephant. So we're all gonna drop down to the ground, right? And just swing like an elephant. Swing like an elephant. Jasmine says, take your trunk and spray water. Jasmine says, do chair pose. So you're gonna pretend, put your hands up and pretend you're sitting in a chair. Excellent, stay balanced there for a second. This is great for your balance. Okay, pretend to climb the stairs. Excellent, nobody did it, I like it. Jasmine says, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Jasmine says, put them down again. Jasmine says, move like a robot. <laughs> Jasmine says, touch your elbows together. Jasmine says, put your hands behind your head where Bully lives. Okay, now spin around. Excellent, nobody did it. Jasmine says, do your superhero pose. So you can go to the side, put your arms out. It's a lot like an airplane, right? And then lift up a leg and pretend you're flying to save people. Excellent. Jasmine says you can come back down. Run in place. Excellent. Nobody did. <laughs> Theo, I didn't say Jasmine says, even though that was fun. Jasmine says, scrunch up your nose. Scrunch up your nose. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Jasmine says, stop your feet. Stop your feet. Okay, put your thumbs up. Excellent. No. Yep, I did say, <laughs> okay, I didn't say not to do that. <laughs> Jasmine says, raise your hand. Jasmine says, raise your other hand. Jasmine says, show your teeth. <laughs> Jasmine says, swim in place. So pretend that you're swimming. Okay, everybody wave. Excellent, nobody did it, I love it. Okay, Jasmine says, everybody make a silly face. <laughs> okay, last one. Jasmine says, give yourself a big, big hug. A big hug. Okay, we can come back down to the ground. Jasmine says so too. And now we're gonna read a story about how you all are kindness detectives. You wanna say something, Theo? Um, if Theo says do the armpit fart. <laughs> All right, Theo, so you want to add that to it? Yeah, knock yourself out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mute you, my friends, while we read the story. Okay, this story is called Kindness Detectives. So get yourselves comfortable. It looks like you all are. We're going to relax our foreheads, relax around our mouth, and we're going to let all of our thoughts become clouds that just go floating by while we listen to the story. Let's take three breaths to start. So let's breathe in and out. And breathe in and out. And one last one, breathe in and out. And I see Sienna laying down, Jade and Theo. It would be great for you to get a little more relaxed too, my friends. So today we're going on a kindness journey. 
If you haven't done so already, it's a great idea to close your eyes so that the magic of your imagination can take you places that your eyes can't see. So first, I want you to imagine yourself surrounded in a red light. This light runs through the, you from the top of your head to your toes, and then it flows out to wrap your whole body in a deep red glow. And then the color becomes a cloud, a huge fluffy red rose cloud, and suddenly it lifts you and you begin to float away. And it feels amazing. First feel it on the top of your head. The red glow slightly massages all of your head and pushes out any unhappy thoughts. You feel the red light warming your strong arms, your capable hands, your sturdy legs, and even surrounding your feet, which are now dangling in space, hanging off the cloud. And from the red cloud, a fluffy hand reaches out, appears, and in it there is a tiny telescope. You reach out and take it, and the puffy, friendly hand disappears, poof, as quickly as it came. You turn the telescope over in your hand. It looks delicate, and it has tiny golden flecks sprinkled everywhere. But then you hold it up to your eyes and its scope is incredible. You know that you are seeing miles and miles away, maybe even oceans away, maybe even worlds away. The first thing your golden telescope lights on is two friends running after an ice cream truck. They are laughing as they catch up to it and they both order their favorite sweets. The truck drives away playing its song and the two turn away too. <gasps> but one drops their cone in a muddy patch. He immediately starts crying and just as quickly the friend says, don't cry, we can just split mine. So they stop and they carefully split his ice cream sandwich right down the middle. And as you turn your telescope away, they both are again laughing and smiling, licking happily away at their delicious half of the chocolate ice cream sandwich. Then you take your telescope and you turn it in a different way. And there you see an older woman by herself sitting on the bottom step of a long staircase. Beside her sits a bag of groceries, which are rapidly starting to melt. When you look closer, you see that she is quietly crying. And then a young girl appears. Why are you crying, she asks. The older woman blinks away her tears. My son was supposed to come and help me, but he is sick. I made it to the store and back, but I cannot carry this bag up the stairs to my apartment and my ice cream is melting and my flowers need water. The little girl just smiled. I can fix all that, she said. She turned up and she turned and picked up the bag, which was even a bit heavy for her. It is three floors up, the woman said. And you are small. I can do it, the little girl said. We can go slowly together. She helps the woman to her feet and lifts the heavy bag with both arms and slowly they begin to climb the long stairs. The woman already smiling through the remainder of her tears. And so it goes like that. Every spot that you focus your telescope on, someone is doing something kind for someone else. And you can clearly see that people are doing kind things all over the world, everywhere. And then suddenly, a genie appears in front of you. He is laughing and he has on a huge cape emblazoned with the letter K across it. 
You're in the club now, he smiles. What, you ask, confused? You, every single one of you, Sienna and Theo and Jave, every one of you are in the club. You have been chosen. You're a kindness detective. Inside of you is an endless amount of kindness and now you're part of a huge group of people all around the world who make sure to do kind things every day. You are a detective. So you look for places and clues where you can help make someone's life a little bit brighter. And just before you go to ask a question, again, poof, he disappears with his final cry. You're gonna be a great detective. And you smile to yourself and think about it. A kindness detective, what a cool job. You lay back in your fluffy red cloud and you take three deep breaths. So let's take the three breaths together. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And one more, breathe in and breathe out. And then you slowly, slowly float on your puffy red cushion back to earth, back to home, back to your body, and ready to be the best kindness detective that you can be. Okay, so you can all sit up if you want to. Does anybody want to talk about any ideas they have to be a kindness detective today? That could be something you are going to look for and see somebody else be kind or something that you're going to do yourself. Sienna? Um, you could help clean the dishes. You could help clean the dishes? Absolutely, right? We eat all day, every day. We're making dishes all day, every day. We're all home. Yes, Theo. Go to outer space. Who are you going to help in outer space? I'll do it right now. You can absolutely I'll do, do it. it. Right, right. Now. right? Our imagine can take us anywhere. Who are you going to help in outer space? Now I am here. Who are you going to help in outer space? Are you going to help a Martian? Who are you going to help? I don't know. I'm just going to check. <laughs> okay, fair. I'm going to hit this thing. <laughs> I'm going to Jave, do you have any ideas about how to be kind today or what to look for to be kind? No? Okay, that's fair. Do you all think that right now your parents are being pretty kind, staying home and doing school with you? Yeah, right? So it might be a kind thing to today give them an extra hug and maybe an extra thank you and just say, thanks so much, mom or dad. I know that this is a little bit of a hard thing for us all being at home, right? What's another thing? Connie and I just talked about that she ordered chalk. Where we live, people actually do walk by our house. And so we're going to decorate the sidewalk outside and make it full of happy messages so that anybody walking by will see a message like, hey, smile today, or anything like that. So does anybody have any other ideas about anything they could do? Go ahead, Sienna. I did something kind when my when uh, my aunt came over. My aunt came over and we put tons of signs up saying, "We love you, Mickey. We hope we see you again, and we miss your hugs." And even though we have to stay six feet away, it was fun, and we got to do an April Fool's because it was April Fool's Day yesterday, and she came yesterday, so we popped poppers right when she got here. I love it. Connie and I saw something yesterday too. Uh, there was a six-year-old's birthday. And of course, if you're six years old, I mean, my birthday is about to come up too. And I'm going to have to spend it without my friends because we all have to stay away like this. 
but it was a six-year-old who all his friends drove by his house in a parade and just waved and yelled things and held up signs. We love you, happy birthday. So there's lots of things, even though right now we can't be near our friends or kind of be with them the ways that we usually are, there's still lots of little things that we can do to reach out to people and be kind. Go ahead, Sienna. Um, for my friends, I, um, what, was she like turning seven? Uh, the, the kid in the, it was, I think it was a sixth birthday. Oh, well, my friend, she was turning seven, and everybody, um, sh and she went around in her car, and she went around, and the, and all her friends, to her friend's house, and all her friends had signs up, and birthday party stuff up, and candy that they could go pick up, and, um, and so she ran around all those houses and got to see of everybody celebrating her birthday. I love that, Sienna. That's great. Absolutely. Do you all know what the word creative means? Does everybody know what the word creative means? Yeah. Um, Jade, do you want to tell us what it means? It's a little hard to explain. Do you want to say something? What's it mean? Creative means like if you, you build something or, or make something that, um, that, um, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, but you're exactly right. You're totally on the right track. Sienna and Theo, I'm going to give you a chance too. But you're right that you build something, you're basically creating something that wasn't there before, right? You're using your imagination, you have an idea in your head, and then you bring it to life. Absolutely. Sienna or Theo, you want to add something? Go ahead, Bob. Sienna. Um, it means like if you if you made something out of like out of recycled things, you made something and it was really, really cool. Like if you made, um, if you made a beehive out of cardboard boxes and, uh, and you gave it to somebody, that would be like nice. It would be kind and it would be recycling and be creative. That, Sienna, I love this idea. Absolutely true. Theo, what's that? Creative kind of means like, you can create kindness by doing kindness, kindness things to other people. And creative means, like, for Bible, um, it means God can create all things. Absolutely, yes. All three of you have had mwah, wonderful, wonderful answers. And so we are all, you know what, you probably know this already. Sienna, I'll get you in one sec, good. So everything around us, except things made by nature, are created, right? The thing that you're sitting on, I see pictures behind you, your toys, your squishy Sienna, every invention in the world, some person just like you thought up in their mind and then created. And yeah, Theo, I love what you said for the last thing that this is also about. So we can create kindness every day, all day. If we give someone a surprise hug, that's creating kindness. If we help with the dishes, that's creating kindness. If we hug ourselves, that's creating kindness. Go ahead, Sienna. Um, when it, somebody made this, it's really hard to make it because there's so many things. And they just thought up it in their brain and they made it perfectly. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so we are unfortunately done for today. Uh, yep, somebody made that, right, Jane? Somebody was like, what can we do to put our laundry in and make it still air out? Somebody created that. <laughs> so we will see you all on Monday. If your parents are around, let them know. We're not recording anymore, and so we still want to see all your beautiful faces every single day. So, you know, you